What's going on guys? Game Guy here bringing you part 4 and level 4 of our Mobile Suit Gundam Zeonic Front Let's Play. Where we last left off, we finished off Mission 3 where we went underground and took out a underground uh, dock with some submarines and stuff. Um, so now we're on, now we're heading to the S3 point, which is, let's be honest, let's call it Seattle. And that has... Supposedly the mobile suit or the white base is there, so we're gonna check it out. I'll shut up now. Midnight Fenrir. Our latest mission is to search for and locate the Trojan horse, as well as the mobile suits aboard the ship. The information we've received indicates they're hiding at the S3 point. In support of Captain Garma's operation, we will commence our search of the assigned area. I must emphasize that our mission is restricted to tracking down the Trojan horse or enemy mobile suits and informing the commander of their location. Leave the strike to Captain Garma's squadron. Okay. So... Essentially, we're looking for white base. They call it the Trojan Horse. So, attack instructions. In night missions, the night scope and thermal sensors will be useful. Also, there are points on the map that indicate some unusual activity. Set your teams to root those routes and go there. Whatever. All right. It said we got new teams, new MSs, and everything. So. Oh. <laughs> Funny thing. Alston uh, got a Zaku 1B, which is a ground type Zaku. Um, which is good. He also got a Zaku Bazooka and a shotgun. We're going to take the shotgun. Uh, also, we got some upgraded gear here. Looks like we got the night scope. Some magazines, which increases uh, how much ammo you have. And we're going to also add armor type 1. Armor obviously does allows you to take more damage. Let's look at Ensign Roberto. I want to make sure he has some stuff. He has no upgrade gear, but he sets decoy decoys and stuff, so that's cool. But he has a night scope, which is very important to me. He does not have oh he has thermal. I want to delete both of those. Add thermal, and then add night scope. Thermal boost one allows us to use thermal better, and since it said in night missions, thermal is better. Um, we're gonna keep her there. We're gonna set all of our things to term, uh, thermal here. Thermal boost will obviously allow us to see farther. So, Noski particles is at 78%. And as you can see here, guys, we've got... Ooh, yeah, we might want to work on our map. On our setup. Group setup. Let's start off with uh, good old red team. We're going to add... Face on... That way. Because we want them to head... We're going to take out some units here. Green team. We'll have him go this way.
I don't think we'll have much problems with this with this fight. All right. So as you can see here, guys, we've kind of set it up a little differently. So here we go. Mission four. Yeah, mission four. All units, move out. Roger. Don't forget, you'll have limited visibility. Make use of your thermal sensors. Our mission is to find the Trojan horse and report its position. Don't forget that. All right, so I think we might have to activate. No, okay, we don't. So those guys are gonna walk. We're gonna run. We have the longer route. Plus, we have night vision, so we can kind of see things when they come at us. Pretty good distance, actually. Not seeing anything so far. Confirmed. Commander, what are your instructions? They're probably patrol troops. They'll get in the way of our mission. You have permission to attack. Wipe them out, quickly. Roger. All right, trap is getting raided now. Things are gonna start spawning in, I think. Gotta be mindful. There's something over there. Nothing dead in front of us other than what's over there. There's usually helicopters. Hopefully we didn't take much too much damage there with the uh again with the Zaku's or the tanks. They do have uh vehicles with rockets. We have to be very, be very careful. I was waiting for you, Sean. Garma, the mobile suit is running away. The Trojan horse should be right up ahead. Go after him. Cool. Hurry. Captain Garma's squadron has located an enemy mobile suit. Looks like the Trojan horse is not in the vicinity. What are your instructions? We will continue searching the area until further orders. You never know. There may still be enemy patrol troops. Roger. So now it's now that we know where the Trojan horse is, it's getting to the point that we just kill everything. speeding up the mission. Now it's just to kill everything. leave them really quick. Oh, okay. Cool. We didn't die. Captain Garma's squadron has opened fire on the enemy. What? Wait a minute. There's some disruption in the communication lines. What's going on? There's enemy fire from behind, Captain. From behind? It's the Trojan horse. Coming up behind us, sir. Ascend. Ascend now. 
I can't. Change course 180 degrees. I'll, I'll ram the gal right into them if I have to. Char, you're not saying that. You were a very good friend to me. Don't take it personally. Thank your father for this. <laughs> Char, you double cross me, Char! <laughs> this can't be. There's no response from Captain Garma. All units, we're moving out from this area to confirm the situation regarding Captain Garma. <laughs> so funny, I can't help it. <sighs> oh, the B rank. That's BS. Glory to the Principality of Zeon! This latest mission has given our unit valuable data on nighttime operations. However, upon reaching the vicinity where we lost communication with Captain Garma, we were faced with a devastating nightmare. We found the remains of the Gao attack carrier and other aircraft along with those of casualties. Everything was burning. The scent of defeat choked the air. Captain Garma went down in glory in his battle against the Trojan horse. This was a terrible loss to all officers and soldiers who fought under his command in the North American operation. Today, the Trojan horse broke through our line of siege and escaped our territory. Why couldn't I say that first instead of dragging it out? I've been assigned to take over Captain uh, Vice Admiral Garma's duties to lead our troops in the North American territory. I know everyone feels that Lord Garma's untimely demise is a horrible setback. To bring honor to his great name, we cannot grieve forever, but must instead carry on our glorious leader's crusade against the Federation. Now, I want your unit to head to Odessa and provide backup for the troops in that area. You should keep in mind that the request comes from the leader himself of the Odessa region, Captain Mukuve. According to intelligence received by the captain, the enemy is gathering to attempt a large-scale offensive in Odessa. Significant transfer of troops have been observed in Asian territory, confirming this fact. Our forces are deploying troops to the Gobi Desert to counter the enemy's moves. And guess what? You're the lucky ones. We've chosen to send out your unit from our North American division. Unfortunately, the front line is spread out too thin. We don't have the luxury of transporting you by Gao attack carrier. As a result of capturing this base, we were able to build Yukon-type submarines, and they'll be a suitable means of transport to your final destination. Prepare to move out immediately. Also, as of today, a new pilot is being transferred to your unit. Over. Sweet! And I'm going to end it there, guys. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share with your friends if you want to see more Mobile Suit Gundam content. My name is Kentucky Game Guy, and I will see you guys in the next video.